That that does make sense. Okay, we are we're gonna get Josh Brody's fox here, um, which yeah, that does make sense. I don't think that Andy Kins would go fox against Josh Brody's pikas. With all the LD practice he's had, I think that's a mistake. Anyway, I, I know that Josh, being a fan of the character, might pull him out in a matchup like this where he's a heavy favorite. And, and it, he is, at the very least. I know Josh Brody has really liked to play Fox a lot more recently. I don't think it's nearly to the level of his Pika, obviously, but he, he's definitely got some chops on this character. So we'll see kind of how this goes. He's already up a clean stock on Andy Kins. Based on what we saw, he's managing his space pretty well, and Andy Kins was not, was not poking the stick on that folks. grab there, yeah. Opportunities like that that I feel that, that, that a Pikachu really has to capitalize on if they want to carry the day. Ooh. Yeah, still you're you're seeing you're seeing Josh keep center stage. Yeah. Right there, Andy Kent's taking it for a moment, but we're Josh not really seeing right him back. use lasers. Like you'd think w with all the stage that he has, he might be throwing out more lasers, but. Against, against Pikachu, a lot of foxes don't like lasers that much because Pikachu is such a small target and so close to the ground that you basically have to read a jump in order to be able to hit him. Andy them. really not hitting the edge guard he wanted and actually getting reverse edge guard for it is not what you want to see if you're the Pikachu here. Yeah, I think Josh is, is clearly demonstrating that he doesn't really need to be afraid as things stand. He's he's just playing really evasive. Andy kids, I've been in this mode a lot. Like you, you know, you really need the kill. You know that your character has the advantage to get the kill, but the other players just playing so evasive to try and bait you into things that it becomes a real hard cat and mouse game, or rat rat and fox game. That's true. Yes. And uh, Josh Brody's fox is certainly proving the yeah, yeah it's looking varmint. good, looking uh, crispy, one might say. Ooh. Yeah, a bit hesitant to follow up on that. Yeah, I think... But there it is. Oh, yeah. I think that's one of those where it's easy to kind of fall off the ledge, and then, like, yeah. that that's not what you want, so... Yeah, so he waited a little and bagged it then. Okay. All right, silence the horn. Yeah, Josh really using back air well, getting a lot of percent on Andy each stock that they've been playing. Yeah, he's, he's been fishing with those back airs a lot. He'll just do a bunch of them. And it looks like Andy Kins is showing him a bit more respect than I expect from a rat in most cases. Uh, oh, I, I thought the Nair would come out. Yeah, go. okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, ju just for anyone tuning in, Josh Brody is the fox. Andy is the Pika. I know this is confusing to many. For any longtime fans of the show, this is confusing. <laughs> Uh, and again, he just gets a couple hits and backs off before Andy Kins has a chance to. Yeah, the plays a plays a very Pika esque style of Fox. So Andy Kins oh, really? running his hand yeah. through his hair, contemplating his life decisions, especially the one before him. Do you give him the rat again? Do you go for something a little more volatile, like maybe the Falcon Fox? No, I don't know. Oh, no, Josh. No. Yeah, I, I don't think Josh Andy was switching off Pika either. Yeah, it's, it, you don't really have a more favorable matchup unless you're really feeling something else. Okay. All right, and, and you know what? Andy Kins is looking a lot better, at least in this first time. Yeah, I mean, like, Pika did a... So this is the one where I was talking... This is what I was talking about before we started the match. I thought that they were going to play. I just have a lot of respect for Josh Brody in this matchup. He's played it high-level matchups against so many top-tier Pikas for years now. I get um, the feeling that it's one of his favorites. Yeah, I mean, he's just... This is a very, very deep matchup. As as sort of the like tier of player increases, you can you see a, a tier of play increase as well. Right. Um, it's really interesting to watch at high level, in my opinion. But uh, and I think Josh Brody is as experienced as they come in that. So we'll see if Andy's up to it. If he can take the stock here, it's still a pretty close game. There nice. we go. Okay. Wow, that dash attack was definitely a commitment, but he knew it would send him far enough he, that if he hit it, that he could get the edge guard there. But not only that, like throughout these entire first two stocks, I think that we've seen Andy Kitts a lot more confident than he was during the bulk of that Fox yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get the feeling that he's just more willing to go out and take risks in this perhaps yeah, more familiar matchup. 
Yeah, I don't know how much experience Andy Kins has at the, the Fox Pika from Pika side. That's a good point. I guess. I guess he's low. But he's still okay. able to pin him in. And this but is uh, the same situation. It's still a close time. game. Yeah, there we go. Andy, re yeah. Yeah, he, he needed that in order to try to reverse the momentum before being put on his last dock. Really great placement of that. Those back airs. He goes platform for the read on the platform. And, oh, he just misses the catch. Yeah. Whoa, that was a strange combo. Yeah, I, like, lost sight of them for a second. They switched places. Yeah, just Josh got a reverse when I don't think he was expecting one. Yeah. And then he got the forward hit when I don't think he wanted one. Low recovery for Mannequins is nice. Okay, nice. that was not what he wanted, but able to get out again, yeah. Good defensive zip zaps from Andy. Yeah, there's, he's, he's just keeping the pressure up. He's more he's willing to go out and put hit boxes where he wasn't his before. Yeah, and he, he's he's very patient with his spacing. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's a read, but I don't think it was really the one he wanted. Well, it did miss, but it was very yeah. safe. So I, th I think that that's a fairly high high reward, low risk play. Yeah. And if you land it, it's a really satisfying noise. Another defensive zip zap. Now we're starting to see Anakin's be a little more conservative, I think. Okay, yeah, there we go. Gets, got to the, gets got the reverse, the reverse but, but yeah. Quite enough. Okay, I like the recovery from Josh. Yeah, I do think that was the right option for Mandikins. He goes it's going to be tough. Yeah, oh, misses the tech. Yeah, no. That's tough. Where's it going? Josh Not is really going to have to yeah, turn that it up. Be it. And that's it for Mandikins and Josh Rody. Wow. Yeah, a nice couple games with a very different uh, 